CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.8 Explain Common OS Types and Their Purposes. OS Types An operating system, or OS for short, is the fundamental software program that serves as the backbone of a computer or any other computing device. It has the primary job of being the intermediary between the hardware components of the computer and the applications or software running on it. More simply put, an operating system is like the boss of a computer, coordinating all its tasks and making sure everything runs smoothly. Or it is like a conductor, who leads an orchestra, ensuring all the musicians play together in harmony to create beautiful music. When it comes to OS types, there are many to choose from, and each is designed for a specific use case. Now, I have laid out a few icons behind me. How many do you recognize? Most of us are familiar with Apple, represented by the Apple icon and no doubt you have spotted the Microsoft Windows icon behind me too. The penguin on the left, whose name is Tux, is the universal symbol for the Linux OS and on the right we have the icons for Google's Chrome OS and Android. Next I will present some use cases and list appropriate operating systems for each. I will start with workstation OSs. A workstation OS is designed to provide a user-friendly and feature-rich environment for individual users, often emphasizing multimedia capabilities, productivity tools, and personal customization options. So which operating systems apply to this scenario? First we have Linux. Linux has many different distributions, some of which are open source, meaning they allow users to have access to the source code. Next we have Apple and Microsoft. Apple's workstation OS is Mac OS, while Microsoft offers Windows 10 and Windows 11. Unlike Linux, these are proprietary, and access to the OS source code will be restricted. The last OS I will mention here is Chrome OS. This OS is a little less known, but has the advantage of being a lightweight option for workstations that need an easy-to-use, browser-based interface. Servers have operating systems that are very similar to a workstation OS, but they are likely to be optimized for robustness, security, and stability to efficiently manage and serve resources and services to multiple clients in networked environments. They may also come in command line only variants, meaning no GUI. Server environments are an area where Linux excels. Many of the Linux distributions have been purpose built for server environments. Windows also has server specific operating systems. The most recent versions are Windows Server 2019 and 2022. Moving on, we have mobile device OSs. Mobile device operating systems are fairly different than workstations and servers, as these OSs must be tailored for the constraints of smartphones and tablets, prioritizing items such as touch-based interfaces, virtual keyboards, power efficiency, and ARM processor compatibility. Currently, the mobile device market is dominated by two main OS options. They are Android and Apple iOS or Apple iPad OS if you happen to have an Apple iPad. Last up, we have embedded operating systems, which are specialized OSs designed to run on resource-constrained devices with specific functions, providing real-time capabilities, minimal resource requirements, and efficient power management, making them suitable for a wide range of embedded systems like IoT devices and gaming consoles. They often provide high reliability for static environments where regular updates are not required. Interesting enough, most embedded OSs are derived from Linux or run a stripped-down version of a Linux distribution. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.